Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's April 3rd and Wednesday morning, and it uh, looks like we've got some uh, bottom picking again in the uh, corn market. We're up just slightly right now. We had a bit of a rally overnight, but uh, the uh, soybeans, they're lower on lack of uh, Chinese demand. Uh, traders are waiting for more uh, news that China's buying U.S. beans. And we haven't seen any of that yet. And that's causing uh, some uh, bit of pressure in the soybean complex here this morning. Overnight, uh, Chinese soybeans were down 10 cents. The uh, meal uh, for the week now is down $10 a ton. So uh, uh, finding some weakness there, even though the uh, uh, processing for uh, soybeans in China is still uh, positive, but... Uh, uh, reluctant to uh, to buy beans here from the U.S. and mainly because of the higher price. I mean, Ed, we wrote this morning in the wake-up call the uh, uh, U.S. soybeans are a dollar a bushel higher than uh, beans out of Brazil. So why not wait? Why not, uh, as long as you've got enough supply, uh, be patient and wait till you get those uh, beans uh, pulled out of the uh, South American ports. Now, there has been talk yesterday that uh, the worst is over when it comes to delays coming out of uh, uh, Brazil, and uh, there are still delays, but they're much uh, shorter than they were uh, recently, and looks like they're on the uh, improving side rather than the uh, the increasing side. Also uh, reported yesterday that uh, Argentina has uh, shipped a couple cargoes of soybeans to China, so uh, the cheaper uh, product is definitely getting the uh, the purchases right now when it comes to uh, the soybean complex. The uh, Chinese also uh, is reporting here this morning that uh, there's another outbreak of bird flu uh, that's causing some uh, uh, countries to uh, back away from buying soybean meal out of uh, China. So that uh, uh, is something that's going to be talked about here over the next uh, few days, I'm sure. In the uh, At the CME, the open interest in corn finally showed a decrease yesterday, down 26,000 contracts. Uh, that trade has been waiting for that for some time because of the big selling pressure that we've seen in, uh, in the corn market that we uh, just haven't seen that large open interest change. We finally did see that yesterday. Open interest in wheat also uh, was down about 6,000 contracts, which means uh, trade's covering some of those short positions that we've seen uh, the wheat market uh, firmer here. And this morning we've got uh, wheat higher uh, just in anticipation of uh, poor crop conditions in uh, U.S. wheat. Uh, the thought that maybe we could get some business for U.S. wheat I think is uh, providing some support and, and basically just uh, short covering continues in the in the wheat complex. Uh, we do have Goldman Roll uh, happening and starting tomorrow. Uh, we've also got Informa coming out here at 10.30 this morning with uh, their revisions of uh, what this uh, supply-demand report may look like uh, coming up here next week on uh, April 10th. Uh, we've got ethanol production numbers coming out this morning as well. We, they'll be monitored very closely as uh, an indication of was the cheaper corn providing uh, some improved uh, ethanol production. <clears throat> Weather conditions uh, looks to be favorable or more favorable as we move forward here. We're expecting more rain through the uh, Midwest. Uh, the northern Midwest should get some rain by Saturday. Then further, uh, uh, a larger storm now is in the forecast for uh, the central uh, Midwest and southern Midwest where uh, moisture is still needed and uh, soil temperatures are needing to warm up and that uh, a rain right now with warmer temperatures could be uh, very positive when it comes to that although moisture delays planting and that the trade's going to be monitoring that very closely as well uh, if we uh, don't get much corn planted here before the uh, uh, the middle of uh, April uh, any kind of uh, rain system moving through the area probably will be looked at as a more uh, positive to price than it will uh, be negative. So those are things that we're watching here in the uh, the grain markets. Uh, the livestock market uh, cutout values shown 
a bit of improvement yesterday. Choice up 89, select up 91. Uh, pork cutout values, however, were lower, down 105. And the prob problem that we still have in uh, livestock is cleaning up the, uh, the inventory of beef and pork that uh, has been produced here over the last several uh, months, and that uh, uh, that concern continues. However, with the first of the month featuring in beef and the uh, potentially uh, warmer weekend, uh, the hopes is that we can see a bit of a cookout season start here and and uh, improve the demand for the uh, higher price cuts and uh, support uh, beef prices and cattle prices uh, in that manner. I uh, want to remind everybody that uh, on our website we've got available the, uh, some of the audio clips from our uh, weekly research broker meeting that we have here in the office, and they're available for you to uh, listen to uh, by uh, just going to our website and uh, clicking on the, uh, the proper links. And if you've got any questions or any problems, don't hesitate to give us a call here at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a successful trading day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.